Good evening, good evening, good evening. I want to welcome you tonight to Whip Meets Work in Progress. My name is Leticia, your host of Whip Meets. And tonight we're just going to do this thing a little different. So I'm not on camera because I've just got to work, got a whole bunch going on. But, you know, I still got to give you this word that God has given me. And the message for tonight is, as I break down, I will also build up. As many of you know, what you've seen on social media, the, the internet, wherever you may see the world moving, that there's a lot of exposing going on in this season and it's not by mistake but a lot of this exposing is going on to try to tear the kingdom of God down but see God wants to build his kingdom at the same time while the enemy is trying to tear it down so God is saying as I break down I will also build up so are you ready for the word tonight tonight with me is about as I break down I will also build up are you going to be a part of the remnant that God is building or are you going to be a part of the remnant that God is breaking down? So we're just going to start out tonight with prayer. I'm not going to hold y'all for long because I know attention span be on zero at times. <laughs> So we're going to just start off in prayer. Then we're going to go into our scripture. And I'm just going to give you the word that God gave me tonight on with me. Father God, we just come to you today, Lord, to glorify your name, O oh God, to lift you, to honor you, and to adore you, O oh God. We pray in this day, O oh God, that you cover us, O oh God, that you keep us, O oh God. Father God, if there's anything not right in us, O oh God, we ask, Lord, that you create in us a new heart, O oh God, a new, a new mind. Restore us back unto you, O oh God. Father God, we come tonight to give you glory, O oh God, not just uh, physical glory, Lord, but glory, oh God, because Lord, you have been so good to us, oh God, and we don't want to forsake you, oh God, we don't want to let you down, oh God, that when you see us, oh God, that Father God, that you see, oh God, that we're in spirit and in truth for you, oh God, walking that thing and talking that thing and not just talking that thing, oh God. So today, Lord, I pray, Lord, that you lift a standard towards your people, oh God, Father God, that they will Lord adjust their their lives oh God that they will begin to Lord seek you out more and more Lord that they will begin to read their word more oh God that they will begin to worship you even the more oh God and we thank you today oh Lord for what you're going to do in this night oh God we thank you today Lord how you're going to restore us how you're going to renew us oh God the shifting that's going to take place, Lord. We just want you to know tonight, Lord, that we love you. We honor you and we adore you, Lord. And we believe, God, that, Lord, that you're going to do a mighty thing in our life, in our 2024, oh God. So we are committing ourselves over unto you, Lord, that 2024 is going to be a year of the overflow, Lord, because we choose to stand in the building and not the breaking. In the building and not the breaking, Lord, we are prepared for what you're going to do with us, how you're going to build us, how you're going to create us, how you're going to renew us. So God, we love you and we honor you, Lord. And we say tonight, Lord, have your way, oh God, that you may speak through me, oh God, that Lord, that none of these words come from my own heart, my own mind, my own understanding, oh God, but Lord, from your understanding, oh God, the words straight from heaven, oh God, that Lord, that your spirit may fall fresh in this place, oh God, and have your way, not just on me, but even on the viewers, the vessels that may watch this. We love you and we honor you and we thank you, oh Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Hallelujah. I just want to thank everybody for joining. This is Whip Meat. Whip Meat is every Tuesdays and Thursdays from 12 a.m. until you know, however the Lord wants to do it. But like I said, I'm not going to hold you long tonight. But the word tonight is, as I break down, I will also be.
build up is what the Lord is saying tonight. As I break down, I will also build up. Are you going to be a part of the build or are you going to be a part of the break? Because this season, you're going to have to choose who will you serve in this season? Who do you have leading you? Who do you have guiding you? Who's the one that has control over your body and over your mind, over your spirit and over your soul? Because if it, 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 it is not God, you are looking at a season of breakdown. But God says that in this season, even though you may see a breaking in the ministry, a breaking in the kingdom, you will also see a greater building because God is building quadruple the, the amount that things are breaking away. God have, you know, in scripture, God tells us that he's separating the wheat from the tear. And even though the wheat and the tear grew together, he still has to separate those dead seeds, those things that are not bringing his purpose forth. So we're in a season of God building. So let's prepare for the word. And the word tonight is coming from Jeremiah 31. 27 through 28. Let's begin to read. So Jer Jeremiah, get my Bible in order. Got markers, everything everywhere, y'all. <clears throat> but I hope everybody's having a good night tonight. Uh, it's Wednesday night. Yes, I'm a little late with, with me, but you know, here I am. Here I stand in the midst of God. We're never too late for God. We're always on time because we know even God is never on time, but he's never late. So Jeremiah 31 says, behold, the days are coming, says the Lord, that I will sow, sow, the house of Israel and the house of Judah with the seed of man and the seed of beast. And it shall come to pass that as I have watched over them to pluck up, to break down, to throw down, to destroy and to afflict. So I will watch over them to build and to plant, says the Lord. Did you hear that? God says, and it shall come to pass that as I have watched over them to pluck up, to break down, to throw down, to destroy and to afflict. So I will watch over them to build and to plant, says the Lord. God says he is here to build, not to break. He is here to build, even though you seeing the enemy trying to tear down the kingdom of God. God said, while the enemy is trying to tear it down, I'm building it even the more. I'm building it even the more. Whew. God said, those whom are committed to me shall see my glory. You shall see the glory of God. Everything and everyone that God has set on high, even after knowing the true and living God, he's bringing it down, breaking it up. And breaking it up means to separate. God is separating himself from those who's who doesn't choose him. So this is a time that you're going to have to make a decision here in this month of January. It's January the 30th to be exact. God said, I need you to make a decision today and choose what and whom will you serve because anything that's not connected to me God says I have to get rid of it I have to get rid of everything that's not going to live righteous for me everything that's not going to walk righteous in me everything that's not going to read and study and get to know me for who I am God said I'm breaking it away God is separating himself from whom choose the world over him so you have to be careful in this season about what your decision are that is and what you want to worship and who you want to be around and who you want to be with because this is a time that god is literally like if you want the world god say i'm giving you that you can have that. You don't have to do me. And see, that's the thing about God. He gives us a free will. We can do whatever we want. But God say it's best to, for you to make a choice to serve me rather than to do what you want. God calls us to live holy and to be holy. 
Let, let me break that down. God calls us to live holy, H-O-L-Y, holy unto him and be holy, W-H-O-L-L-Y. That's like being whole as in our spirit, being whole and right in God, meaning to be in the image of God has created us to be without blemish, not just corruptedness, but of purity. God wants a pure nation. He does not want anything tainted because guess what? He can't use you. If you have any corruptness in your spirit, then the enemy has corrupted you. The enemy has access to you. But see, God wants his children or his remnant to be a people that the enemy can't even come near. And they already know that, you know, I serve God. So whatever God is for, that's what I'm for. And I reject everything of the enemy. They, those are the people that God is looking for. Those those are the people that God is going to use in this new season to build up. And he know he the, the word tells us that he's been watching. He's been watching for a minute. And now is the time. Say, God said, now is the time for me to break away everything that's not like me. Everything that's for me. Everything that's 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 pretending he's breaking it away because this is not a season of pretending anymore now we have to live right now we have to do right in god we can no longer say oh yeah I, i'm gonna do god today but tomorrow i want to go out oh i'm gonna do god today but tomorrow i'm gonna uh live with my uh boyfriend i'm gonna do god today but uh tomorrow i think i want to hit this blood i'm gonna do god today but tomorrow i think i want to go out and start drinking up in the club all night no we cannot do god part-time this is a full-time position in god but i promise you even if you choose god full-time it is one of the best decisions that you can make in your life it is one of the best decisions that you can make in your life God is looking for a people who wholeheartedly wants his manifestation, who wholeheartedly wants to live for him and not doubt him. Because even to wholeheartedly live in God, I'm telling you, there are going to be so many challenges. There are going to be so many things that come up against you that the enemy is going to attack you even the more. But see, if you have God, you will not have to worry because if God before you, nothing can stand against you. The weapon will form, but it will not prosper. So the devil may come and attempt you, but he will not have access to you because you are dwelling in the glory of God and as long as you're in the glory of God let me tell you something you're going to be protected by the anointing of God that's why it is so important to make a decision are you going to be a part of the breakdown or you're going to be a part of the build up because God is building in this season God wants to build in this season and unless you are a part of God and in his kingdom walking right living right and doing right that's the only way for you to receive what God has for you in this season. And, you know, God, I, I got scripture Deuteronomy 30 and 19. And it says, I call, I call heaven and earth as witnesses today against you that I have set before you life and death, blessings and cursing. Therefore, choose life that both you and your descendants may live. What we must understand is that our decisions don't only affect us, but it also affect our children more than it affect us. Unless we raise them to love God. This is how generational curses continue to repeat themselves time after time after time. You have may have had people in your family that have found God, people in your family that was once in the church and somehow they got disconnected from God because, you know, they decided to do their own thing. And it's constantly been a repeated thing in your family where, oh, you know, God, and I'm seeing you now living in sin. And here you are trying to preach the word to me. God said, no, I'm looking for a nation that's going to be holy. I'm looking for the remnant that's going to live righteously for me and go on because I'm telling you, this is a lifelong thing. This is not a thing that you can't just say, I'm going to do it today and tomorrow I give up. Like I just told you, you have to serve God with a whole heart. And in, in, in that serving God with a whole heart, I'm telling you, the enemy is going to come at you even the harder because see the enemy wants to his his he was trying to tear down heaven once before he was trying to tear down heaven once before but see 
that is not who God called him. God kicked them right out of heaven. Yeah, you got to go. And that's going to be your same situation when the devil comes for you. God is going to set a standard on him that, you know, you can do this, but you can't do this. It's certain things that you can't do to my remnant people. You can talk to their mind, but you can't touch their body. You can't send nobody to them to try to destroy them because I am with them. God would keep you covered as long as you stay in his perfect will. We must choose today, are we going to live for God or live for the world? 2024, God has already started the breaking down process. Do you desire God to remove you from his grace or his circle? That's a dark place for a person who believes but won't live right. You do not want to be separated from God and God just sending you out there as a sheep to the wolves because you once was the sheep. But that's why the Bible tells us God will go after that one and leave the 99. See, you will be that sheep that God has to come after. But still, even in the coming after God, just wants you to live right. Live right so you don't have to be that one sheep that I have to go after. You don't even want to be that one that, you know, has been released from the goodness and the grace of God and sent into a dark world to the wolves because the wolves is going to eat you alive. I know what's in the world. The wolves is going to eat you alive. And I'm going to just give a little small testimony of my own. Like when I was in the world out there in the streets uh, selling drugs, I had... I, I went through so much unnecessary stuff. I mean, I made money and everything, but I got robbed. I, I, I've had so many situations, fake money being bought to me, getting beat constantly and constantly and constantly. Even every time I could get ahead, like it would still push me 50 steps back. I could never get ahead to be ahead, to stay ahead, to be the kingpin. You feel what I'm saying? I could never be the kingpin because trust me, the wolves was not going to allow that. Not me, a female, because I didn't have nobody over me. I had my own money. I was doing my own thing. They was not going to allow me to progress more than them. So whatever they could do, they was going to try to hinder me. The world does not love you. I don't care how well your name was. My name was very well known in the streets for... Uh, selling drugs but you know i don't care how well your name is in the streets they do not care who you are they don't care who you are <coughs> excuse me they don't care who you are they'll come at you like a thief in the night They'll come at you like a thief in the night. Not even come at you. They'll, they'll send somebody to you so you won't know. You know, but it was God that delivered me from that life. And my life now is better than I could ever imagine. I lost everything living in that life. Everything that I had, I lost. I mean, from cars to homes to, to money to clothes to jewelry. I literally lost everything, but for me, it was actually not a loss. It was a gain because everything that I lost, God gave me back fourfold. I want to say tenfold now because the place I was in, their credit score was at a 300, had a car, car won't worth nothing. I mean, it, it, it was drivable, but it stayed in the shop. Shop bills came up to seven fourteen hundred. dollars Every time the payment was due, rent was always behind. Mind you, I'm making money selling drugs, but it really wasn't a benefit because I was really struggling in the streets. But now my life, like, I don't worry about bills anymore. Yeah, I had days like, Lord, the rent, repeat, repeat, repeat bills. You know, you pay bills and the bills is like a, a revolving door. Yeah, I, I be talking about that, but it's not a thing of me like, oh, Lord, it's rent two months behind. The rent. I don't go through that anymore because now God is for me. God is with me. God is covering me. And I gave my life to God when I was in the streets. And it was step by step by step that I had to take every Sunday no matter what I did even if I sold drugs every Sunday I'm in church every Sunday I stayed and sat with my family I still prayed every morning before I went out God kept me and I've even been delivered from that life with no felonies on my record like do you know how many times I got stopped by the police I should have been in jail never served time for selling drugs like by the grace of God 
God had a plan for my life. And I just come to share that with you tonight. Choose whom you will serve. Because today is the day. God is breaking things down. He's tearing his things away. He's pulling himself away from people who chooses not him. Because God says, I want a remnant who's going to choose me. Not someone who's going to choose the world over me. Knowing that I'm far more better than what the world could ever offer them. So I just say today, repent, repent, repent. Give it all over unto God. When we hear the word repent, it, it scares us when we really live it in sin. Because I know when I was out there living in sin and they say, repent, repent, repent. I'm, I'm in fear. Like, is God coming today? Because I think I got another day. But you really don't have long because I'm going to tell you something. The world may not be in it, but tomorrow is not promised to nobody. You could die tomorrow and the world still be going on while you out here still living in your own sin and not repenting to God for forgiveness so God can start doing that new work in you. And that new work is how, you know, you repent of your sins. It's not going to be an overnight thing. It's going to be a thing that God is going to do and God is going to mold and shift you into what he wants you to be. A potter cannot make a pot in a day. It, it takes time. It takes time because after he shaped it, molded, you know, that even takes time. It got to dry. He still got to paint it. He still got a car. It takes time. But God just wants you to start today. Whew. On fire for God. God just wants you to start today. So I'm just going to leave y'all with that. Choose, choose whom will you serve? This is whip meets. As I break down, I I will also build up. It's what God is doing. Scripture came from Jeremiah 31, 27 through 28. And I'm just going to end this thing in prayer. Father God, we thank you for your word tonight. Oh God, we pray, oh Lord, that Father God, that the souls that hear this, oh God, that they will begin to repent of their sins, oh God. Father God, that they will die to themselves and begin to want to live for you, oh God. Die into that very being that you did not create them to be, Lord. And waking up to the purpose that you have placed on the inside of them, oh God. We rebuke every demonic spirit, oh God, that is attacking their lives, oh God. Every turn, every which way that the enemy is attacking them, Lord. We rebuke it now in the name of Jesus, oh God. We come against those drug dealers that's out there in the streets, Lord, and fi fi figuring out or thinking that there's no way around this, oh God. We ask, oh God, even for them, oh God, that you open new doors of opportunities, oh God. Since they want to sell drugs, oh God, give them a business, oh God, that they're going to be multi-million dollars, multi-millionaires, oh God, because of their understanding of how to move money. And because being a drug dealer, I'm going to tell you, mm-mm-mm. You have so many business aspects within you. So I pray, Lord, that, Father God, that you break that stronghold that the enemy has on them, oh God. That's making them feel like that there's no way around that life, oh God. That you will open new doors, oh God. I pray for the single mothers, oh God, that are taking care of their children and feeling like, oh God, that, Father God, that if things are getting low, that there's no way around this. Or even causing calamity in the father's life, oh God. Allow them to even forgive the father and move forth and know that you are their provider when the father does not step in. And we thank you for that, oh God. We pray even for our children, for our adult children, for our little children, oh God. That, Father God, that there's a hedge of protection around them, oh God. Father God, that even if we do wrong, Lord, that those generational curses does not connect to them, oh God. That they will be connected to the light, oh God. To you, oh God. That they will find you that even if, if if the parent is not serving God, Lord, that they will find you in another place waiting, Lord, waiting for you, waiting for to receive you, oh God, in Jesus mighty name, Lord. We thank you today, Lord, for tonight for this with me. We thank you for 
all that you have spoke tonight oh god we asked oh god that as we go through this night oh god that you cover every vessel cover every mind cover every heart oh god that you lord will open doors and make ways oh god out of no ways because we know lord that your people are still struggling your people are still going through things oh god so i just pray tonight lord that you show them that you are the way that you are the truth that you are the life that they are seeking out after, oh God. And we pray, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name, Lord, that you will have your way. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. I want to thank y'all for joining me in my whip me tonight. Whip me is every Tuesday and Thursday night from 12 a.m. unto. Like I say, unto. It depends on how God leads me. But tonight, I was not led to get on camera, so... <laughs> I'll probably catch y'all uh, next with me, maybe Thursday night, Tuesday night on With Me Live. But I want to thank you for joining me. My name is Letitia, the host of this With Me. I just pray that God does what he is going to do in your life and that his will be will be done in your life and not yours. And what just remember, once you lay down your will for God, then he can have his way. So I just thank you for joining me. I love you. And I pray that the presence of God consumes and overtake your mind, your heart and your body in Jesus name. Talk to you later. Goodbye.